Hey, good morning, man. Um, this is Fight Week. Um, Errol Spence, Sean Porter, co-main event. We got David Benavidez versus Anthony Durrell. Um, we got Josito Lopez versus John Molina. A lot of good fights, man. So it should be a pretty decent card. I'm not buying the shit, but um, you know, um, I might hit up a theater or something like that. So I'll buy it like buy it that way. Anyhow, that's not the um, the purpose of this video, man. I want somebody to get into my comments, you know, preferably a fanboy or something like that, and um, let me know who is testing Errol Spence. Who? Who has tested Errol Spence for this fight? You know, I brought this up before where Manny Pacquiao, Keith Thurman's fight, Keith came out and said Manny can do whatever he wants. But I was paying attention because I understand that there's a, um, there is a, What's the word I'm looking for? There is a method that is used called misdirection. And um, all the while when these PED attention, see, you notice a lot of videos was put out for Keith Thurman and Manny Pacquiao not doing vital testing. You notice that. How many video ha videos have been put out by these biased media channels? In, in regards to Errol Spence and Sean Porter. Has there been any videos from these same individuals that was putting out videos on Keith Thurman and Manny Pacquiao? Are these same individuals individuals putting out videos, putting the heat on Manny Pacquiao, excuse me, Errol Spence and Sean Porter? It's a simple question, and you know the answer. These guys are don't, these guys have agendas, man. They have agendas. You know, um, Errol Spence is highly favored, man, and ad admired by the, the casual community of boxing, the casual community of boxing, the CCB, okay? And they don't seem to be bothered by the fact that this guy won't get tested by Vada. They had an issue with Keith not and Manny not doing Vada testing, right? Not Arrow though, not Arrow. Y'all see how this shit go? Do you see how this shit go? You can go to the Vada website. All the most recent events, you know, fights that have taken place: Tyson Fury, Otto Wallen, um, Lomachenko, Luke Campbell. I mean, you got Alexander Usyk. I believe being accepted for his fight that's coming up. I mean. The list goes on and on. I think Derek Chisora's fight. So there are fights, you know, these certain events that are not even as big as this event with Sean Porter and Arrow, you know, even though, you know, Arrow said he can't sell out a family dinner, but that's the guy you want on pay-per-view. That's a different video. But anyhow, all of these other top professional athletes can use Vada testing. Don't have no problem with it. But when it comes to Errol Spence, there's always an issue with this Vada shit, man. And all I need somebody to do is get in my comments, leave a link, a source, anything. Fanboys, welcome. Okay? But let me know. Instead of, because I know some of y'all gonna come up, oh, you, you, oh, you've been hating forever. You, you, you a hater. Cool. Cool, my nigga. Just drop a source. Drop a link in the comments. Who is testing Girl Spence? Because it ain't Vada, fam. But that was good. That was a good question. Who's testing him? Who's testing him? This is a WBC belt. Okay. Um, people can say all of this stuff. People are trying to use the excuse. Oh, he's a IBF fighter. So they use USADA, right? You can't use that excuse for this fight. He's fighting for the WBC belt. What makes Errol so special that he don't have to be VADA tested for the WBC belt? Lomachenko... Didn't use Vada either, but he had to use it for Luke Campbell because guess what? He was fighting for the WBC belt. It's amazing to me, man, that these agendas, man, the, the, these bias channels will put so much attention over here, over there. And like I say, I'm glad that that Keith Thurman, Manny Pacquiao situation happened so y'all can see these guys exposed themselves because I knew this was going to happen. I knew this shit was going to happen.
They're going to put all the attention on Keith and Manny, not doing Vada testing, but they ain't put out one video. One. On Errol Spence and now, Errol Spence and Sean Porter not being, uh, being tested through Vada. You know, Sean is saying he's being tested though. Because he's in a clean boxing program. And we do know that you can be tested randomly. And from my understanding, when you are WBC champion, uh, Vada testing is is implemented by taking out a certain percentage out of your purse because you're the WBC champion. You know, the sanction fees and all of that. So I believe Sean is being tested. But is Errol though? Is Errol being Vada tested? Answer is no. And if you can counter what I'm saying, please drop your source. Drop it. You know, and if it does not match up to what I've seen on the Vada website, that shit is null and void. Get it out of here. Control or delete. Get it out. Okay. There's no reason why this guy should not be tested through Vada. So somebody help me out, man. Leave a source in the comments. It's your boy Black Horse. I think that Arrow is, is feeling himself, you know, as you know, when you're dominant, when you are, you know, the guy who's a champion right now, you know, I get how that could happen, but time to calm down, baby.